thank you so much for joining us tonight. We really do appreciate it. The, the first question, why are you running again? Well, the challenges that Ohio and our country face are still the same, Russ. Uh, you know, we, we have economic issues, we have inflation, we have supply chain, we have security issues, we have an open border, we have national uh, standing issues. These are all issues that, that Ohioans, as I've traveled the state, want somebody to go and engage and fix them, engage on them. Uh, we haven't seen that. So I know I have the skill set and I have the experience. You know, I have fought hard for Ohio. I have fought very hard for Northeastern Ohio. And I put myself, I put myself in a position of leadership, you know, to cut taxes, to cut business regulations, to give more school choice, to make Ohio a better place to live, make a better Ohio place to work. A, a variation on that question. Given the rough and tumble nature of the last campaign, why would you want to put yourself through this again? Well, a lot of that rough and tumble was from other folks. I ran my own race and will continue to run my own race. I'm about tomorrow. I'm about the future. I'm about making sure we get our economic house in order. We get more people working, that we secure our borders, that we provide, you know, our border is a national crisis. It's an economic crisis. It's a humanitarian crisis. And it's a security crisis. Sherrod Brown, calls it a far right issue. You know, he doesn't understand. He hasn't been listening to law enforcement. He hasn't been listening to families. So I want to go and bring my record to Sherry Brown and go to Washington and solve some of these problems. You just uh, talked about how you handled the, the last campaign, but the last campaign was quite nasty in the primary. Do you expect it to get that way again this time? Yeah, I, again, I can't speak to other folks uh, and what they plan on doing. What I can tell you what I'm going to do, you know, I'm going to focus on the issues and the policies that impact Ohioans' lives, not get caught up in the issues of yesterday and the past. I'm not running a campaign of grievances. I'm running a campaign of solutions for tomorrow. What others do, not my call. I can control what I'm going to do, uh, and I'm going to run a campaign that makes people feel hopeful about getting things done in Washington. Senator, we lost you for part of that. Do you mind if I ask that question again? That was my best answer. <laughs> we lost about, about half of that. Do you mind if I just ask it again? The Zoom, the Zoom guides didn't play along with us. No worries. <laughs> so I'm just going to ask you that again. The last campaign, the primary, certainly was, was nasty. Do you expect it to get that way again this time? Russ, I, I, don't, I can't speak to what other people are going to do. I can tell you what I do. I run my own campaigns. I have my own vision for what I want to accomplish. And I'm going to run on tomorrow. I'm not running campaign of grievances. I'm not looking to the past. I want to run an issue policy oriented campaign that actually solves people's problems. I want to get our economy in order. I want to secure our border. I want to control our supply chain. I want to make America standing in the world stronger. These are issues that I'm hearing all across the state that they want someone to go work on. That's what I'm that's the message I'm going to send. I'm looking for tomorrow in the future to make people's lives a little brighter. Senator, give me a timetable. So you announced today, where do you go from here? Well, we do what campaigns do. We go out and we visit with folks. We get the message out, we raise the money, and we prepare all throughout the, the spring and the summer to run an aggressive campaign as we move up into March. The filing deadline for this race is at the end of this year. Because it's a presidential year, everything's been moved up. So it'll, it'll come up quicker than people think. I will be ready. I'll have the resources. I'll have the team. But most importantly, Russ, I'll have the right message to correspond with the right experience to take on Chair Brown in, in November of 24 and lead uh, for Ohio in 25. Assuming for the sake of this discussion, you win the primary, what makes you think that Senator Brown is vulnerable at this point? Uh, Senator Brown is out of touch with Ohio. He's been in Washington for nearly 30 years. I only have to point to his own words. You know, just a, just a few weeks ago, he said the border, he doesn't hear about the border. It's a far right issue. As I said, it's an economic issue. It's a security issue. It's a humanitarian crisis. How in the world can we solve these problems when our, when Chair Brown doesn't even recognize the problem? He is continuously rated one of the most liberal senators in, in the United States Senate. You know, that's concerning in and of itself because it doesn't reflect Ohio, but his own words says he wants to get rid of the filibuster. The very, the very process our founding fathers put in place to control extremism. 
to make sure that there's deliberate thought put put in and so that there is solid issues and, and results coming out of the Senate. He wants to get rid of it. He wants to pack the Supreme Court. Russ, those are so out of touch with, with what Ohioans want from their public officials to go, to engage, to solve problems, to be meaningful, and to impact all Ohioans' lives. You self-funded much of the last campaign, much of your last campaign. Do you expect to do that again this time? I expect I'll have the resources necessary uh, to win the race. Uh, I look forward to raising money throughout the state. My wife and I look forward to investing uh, in ourselves. Uh, because we believe so much that, that Ohioans need someone like me. To, I have fought for Cleveland in Northeast Ohio in the Senate. I have fought for Ohio in the State Senate. I want to do the same for everybody in Washington. That's my last question. I want to ask it again because once again, we had a blip there. So if you might mind, I'll just ask you that again. Just make sure we have it clean so we have it on the website and your, your full answer. Let me just ask it again. Uh, Senator, you funded much of much of your last campaign, do you expect to do that again this time? I expect to have the resources necessary to win a primary and a general election. I, I look forward to, to going out and meeting the people. I look forward to raising money from donors throughout the state. And yes, my wife and I are going to invest in ourselves uh, because we believe strongly that Ohioans need somebody to go and fight for them. I have fought for Northeastern Ohio in the state Senate. I have fought, I put myself in a position of leadership as finance chair to fight for all Ohioans. I want to do the same in Washington. Senator Matt Dillon, we will see you down the road. Thanks so much for being with us tonight. Thanks for having me, Russ.